This is the daily video update for Monday, March 8th, 2021. For the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We've been setting aside our updates on Mondays for the last couple months for an uh, update on the COVID-19 situation here in Lancaster County. Before diving into that, I do want to say that it was one year ago this week that several UU congregations in Seattle and New York closed down in response to the coronavirus. One was the congregation that our com affiliated community minister, Reverend Kimberly Debus, was then serving as a sabbatical minister. That week was a whirlwind here in Lincoln as we tried to make sense of what was happening and what the right response in our congregation will be. We're going to talk more about that this coming Sunday as part of the service, but I do want to remind you at the beginning of this week that if news reports or social media reflecting on the one-year anniversary are a source of anxiety for you, it's okay to step back from listening and reading. We, we know it's been a year. We know it's been 12 months. It will still have been 12 months since last March, whether or not you read that article on the Journal Star website about the anniversary. In the meantime, a year in, there are signs of hope. Virtually all key COVID-19 metrics are in decline nationally. Cases, deaths, and hospitalizations are down. We've hit a plateau of cases here in Lancaster County, but we're getting close to 100,000 vaccines administered. That is unequivocally good news. And the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta, released guidance today on activities that they think are probably safe once adults are fully vaccinated. Now, to be clear, fully vaccinated means two weeks after your final vaccine dose. And it really only, the new guidance really only applies to small family units gathering together. But it does mean that some grandparents are going to get to see their grandchildren soon, and that is also a good thing. For the church, we're finding our way through this. Here's what I said yesterday as part of the sermon. Behind the scenes, we at the church are having debates and planning among the leadership about what re-entry to in-person in -church, in church will look like. And hear me when I say this, those debates are about how, not if or whether. Unless something very drastic and unexpected happens, we will gather for worship at 6300 A Street in 2021, and probably sooner than we thought possible even a few months ago. We are going to do this, and we're going to see each other in person soon. And in 1986, the Boston Red Sox were in the World Series for the first they were going to break the curse that had kept them from a World Series championship since I think it was 1918, the time before. And in game six of the World Series, the game went to extra innings. And then Bill Buckner missed an easy play at first base that would have won his team the championship in almost, for the first time in almost a century. Don't be Bill Buckner. We're close to the end of this thing. And you have made it this far. The whole congregation has made it this far. So finish strong. This is not the time for boneheaded mistakes. We're just going to keep doing what we've been doing, and we will get through this together. Tomorrow, we'll pick up another piece of the sermon from Sunday, which was about covenant. So I will see you then.